The sponsor of today's video is Acre Gold. We all know that inflation is going through the roof. It's the most we've ever seen in our generation. And one of the best ways to hedge against inflation is to invest in gold. Now, not everybody can put up huge amounts of money all at once to purchase gold bars, but Acre Gold makes it possible for everybody to invest in gold with small monthly payments. And when you reach the amount needed for whatever size bar you choose, they have three options then that bar shows up at your home. Now, Acre Gold keeps you up to date on where you are in your progress, and their gold is sourced from a mint in Switzerland. One of the reasons I pay for it out of my own pocket is because it's one of the best ways that you can invest in gold and actually get physical gold bars without having to come out of pocket all at once. It makes a great option for my family, and I think it will for you as well. Check them out down below. There'll be a link in the description as well as in the pinned comment. And thanks to Acre Gold for sponsoring this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Let's talk about another anti-gun state that is turning its nose up at the United States Supreme Court, specifically the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin decision, which said, shortened down, is if in order for a, uh, a restriction on the Second Amendment to pass the test, it must pass the only test, which is the text of the Second Amendment and the history and the tradition in this country at the time the Second Amendment was adopted way back when well we've watched what happened what has happened to new york when they were the first uh group to step up and say we got this anti-gunners and they're getting smacked down uh and now new jersey has done the same i've been telling people that this bill has been coming here for a couple weeks uh, and they actually finally filed it yesterday now this bill was filed in the assembly and the senate it's double barreled they're coming from both chambers and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to tell you when the first vote is going to take place. And hopefully, if you live in New Jersey, you're going to be getting a hold of your legislators. And I'm willing to bet, I haven't talked to anybody yet this morning, I'm willing to bet there will be a lawsuit to follow. Mark my words. Um, so this bill is similar to New York's with a couple other things tossed in. I got a list of things here because I... Mine is other places here the last couple days, so I'm going to refer to the list. I hope you don't mind, and if you do mind, my apologies. It is what it is. So the biggest thing here, well, the, the biggest impact to people is going to be in their purse in addition to their rights, if that makes sense. New Jersey is going to raise the fee if this goes through, and everybody in the legislature is, is salivating for it, and so is the governor. It would raise the... The, uh, the licensing fee from $2 to $200, which is backdoor gun control. It makes it harder for those who don't have extra funding to uh, obtain their right to, you know, licensing shouldn't be a thing anyway because it's, un it's unconstitutional to charge a fee for constitutionally guaranteed right, but that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. They're also uh, looking to have required uh, gun liability insurance. Some of the quotes by... These idiots in the legislature were like, you know, every car on the road has insurance and every gun, every gun owner should too. There's a big problem with that. Uh, Second Amendment is a right enshrined in the documents hanging behind me. But the right to drive a car is not a right. To drive a car is a privilege. I'm going to get people, I always do. Rah, rah, I get it. You have a right to travel. But there's nothing in those things that say you have a right to a car, which is why you have things like excise tax and registration fees and all that stuff. You don't have the right to a car. You have the right to your Second Amendment, which is why they get away with liability insurance for vehicles. Uh, character references. The thing we just saw shot down in New York, well, New Jersey says, you know what, we're going to do it. We're going to do it too. Well, they're requiring four non-family uh, character references to which law enforcement will interview before they make a decision on whether or not you're good enough for your rights. Um, sensitive places. <laughs> we just seen that destroyed in New York. Well, New Jersey wants to add 25 different sensitive places to include bars, stadiums, beaches, and other places. Uh, again, they're all unconstitutional. They also want to make any private establishment, any private business, a gun-free zone, a la New York, unless that business owner specifically puts a sign up saying that firearms are welcome there. Um, they want to increase the training requirement in order to obtain your permit. Uh, there's going to be an online class, there's going to be an in-person portion, going to be target practice, so you have to qualify. 
Uh, and that you'll have to pay for out of your own pocket in addition to the $200 to go through this whole process. Um, they're gonna increase the amount of prohibited people. If you have violated a restraining order, if you have mental disorders, they didn't say which ones, so I'll have to drill down into that to dig further. Or if you're an alcoholic, well, that's pretty friggin', that's pretty uh, gray right there, but those are some of the things that they will prohibit you for the rest of your life in New Jersey. No, no uh, rights for you if you uh, do any of that. Um, it will also, uh, it, it's being sold as a way to protect New Jersey. But the only thing that protects New Jersey against violent criminals is good guys and gals with guns. And it's been proven a couple million times a year it happens where good guys and gals take their own safety in their own hands because, you know what, you can't carry a cop around and cop response time is terrible, especially in places like New Jersey because they're being defunded, right? So uh, you need to take care of yourself. And millions of people are, are coming over and realizing that every year, more and more gun owners which is one of the reasons they want to do this, because they're afraid of these new gun owners, that they might start voting for the Second Amendment uh, favorable candidates, which would basically take almost every every Democrat out of a job. we got work to do in that area as far as getting people to vote. But these, uh, so when is it going to get voted on? So you get all weekend long to call your uh, offices for your legislators if they have office hours, go see them. Some of them do on weekends. And Monday is going to be the first initial vote. It's going to be taken up in the Assembly's Judiciary Committee. And uh, you should be hammering those members. You can go right on their website, see who they are, and have their emails as well. Uh, and then on the, it's sca currently scheduled for a full floor vote on October 27th. So they're pushing this through fast and furious. Huh, they're criminals too. Um, but they're trying to get this through as fast as possible. I'll make some phone calls, see what's going on. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that people will challenge it. Pretty sure. But that's what they want. They want people to challenge it so it's tied up in court, takes a lot of money, and then they'll just infringe another way. You know, they'll lose this battle, they'll go to another one. It's the game of the anti-gunner and it's freaking sickening, but that's what this country has become, a game of litigation. But I just wanted to give you all a heads up about this bill. I should have uh, gotten this out to you yesterday, but like I said, you know, yesterday was a tough day. Uh, for, uh, for a couple of reasons. If y'all didn't see the video yesterday, we lost, it's the anniversary of the day we lost my dad. Well, the day he got into his motorcycle wreck, which we ended up having a, we lost him. So, um, yeah. Guys and gals, thank you for your time. If you want Second Amendment news on the reg, hit the subscribe button down below, please. And also hit that bell icon and toggle it to all notifications so that YouTube is supposed to let you know when I put out new content or go live. And uh, thank you all for being here. Those of you who have been here since 2014. I mean, y'all, really, thank you. And those of you who are new, thank you. And uh, each and every single one of you means so much to me. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun. To keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's what we are. We will stand in that void. We will stand against tyranny. We will stand against violent criminals to keep each other safe. And the, the, the politicians fear that. Fear that. So, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.